You sure know your boxing. Well, all I know is never bet on the white guy. I saw a quote floating around from Arta Baturbiev regarding Canelo Alvarez, and I thought to myself, that is extremely ironic from where I'm sitting. And I'll tell you guys about the quote. Essentially, Arta Baturbiev was saying there was a time when Canelo had beaten Kovalev and he had the strap, and he would have been interested in fighting him, obviously because he was a champion at that stage. But now there's basically no interest there from Arta Baturbiev to fight Canelo Alvarez. Now, you guys are going to say, well, why is that ironic? I don't see anything ironic about that. Well, the way I see it is like this, right? So Arta Baturbiev, if he were to fight Canelo Alvarez, it would without doubt be like the biggest name on his resume, the biggest fight on his resume, and the biggest payday of his boxing career. But he just doesn't care, right? It's like money doesn't motivate him, or at least not for the Canelo fight. Maybe he's looking at the higher divisions. Maybe he's looking at Jai Opataya and the money that comes with that fight. I don't really know about that. But what I do know is money motivates Canelo Alvarez. He said it many, many times. He's about the money, highest bidder, will acquire his services kind of thing, right? And not only that, but he's about legacy as well. So even though there'd be record-breaking money on the line for an Arta Baturbia fight, even though likelihood is there'll be four belts on the line, they'll get a chance to become undisputed at 175 pounds should he fight Arta Baturbiev. Canelo won't even mention the geezer's name. That's some kind of next level different fear in my opinion. How many interviews have you seen where Canelo's brought up Arta Baturbiev? Never. It's always like, I want to go for Bivo. I want the rematch with Bivo. You never hear Arta Baturbiev there. I wonder why. You hear David Benavidez, he blatantly openly ducks David Benavidez, 250 million and I'll fight him. That's a duck as far as we're concerned. He won't even do that. He won't even outprice himself, from what I've seen at least, when it comes to Arta Baturbiev. The reason why I think he's scared of throwing a number out there is because Turkey might call his bluff. Now, obviously not a quarter of a billion dollars for an Arta Baturbiev fight or David Benavidez fight or whatever, but I guarantee any offer that goes to Canelo Alvarez from Turkey Al Sheikh will beat any purse that he's had previously. Now, he'd done close to like 100 million before the first Golovkin fight, if I'm not mistaken. But let's say I'm mistaken, who cares? Let's say he made $70 million. I'm pretty certain that any offer that goes to Canelo Alvarez from Turkey Al Sheikh is probably going to be touching $100 million for a super fight. So I'm kind of working on the assumption that if the Arta Baturbia fight was offered to Canelo Alvarez at $100 million, would Canelo Alvarez accept? And the answer is no, Canelo Alvarez can't even mention the geezer's name at the minute. So for me, if I'm Canelo, hearing that Arta Baturbia has no interest in fighting me is a blessing in disguise. Like, I'm going to go do a donation, like give money to charity, do a good deed, help homeless person. I don't know what, because the Lord has blessed me with Arta Baturbia not being interested in fighting me. Because if Arta Baturbiev was interested in that fight and is yet another name calling out Canelo and Canelo yet again find an excuse not to fight the person, it's almost indefensible. Like the amount of people calling Canelo's name and him choosing people like Edgar Belanga to fight, it's a hard one to defend. So it's a blessing in disguise for Canelo as far as I'm concerned that Arta Baturbiev doesn't want to fight him. But I think the fans would like to see that fight. Canelo Alvarez, he claims to have been like a legit champion at 175 pounds when he beat Kovalev. But then he had to kind of force Kovalev into a weird situation with Kovalev to accept that fight. Like Kovalev had like six weeks in between the Anthony Yard fight and the Canelo Alvarez fight. I hear, I tell you what, right? Here's a way Canelo Alvarez will fight Arta Baturbiev, right? If they make the fight on October 14th, 2024, two days after Baturbiev fights, Dimitri Bivol gets out of the ring, bruised and bashed up, has a day to recover and then goes back in the ring with Canelo Alvarez. Canelo would have no issues making that fight then because then the chips would be stacked in his favor. But that's the only way the fight happens because on fair terms, there's absolutely no way in hell Canelo Alvarez goes in there with Arta Baturbiev. So as I said, it's a blessing in disguise for Canelo Alvarez that Arta Baturbiev doesn't seem to be interested in that fight at the moment. But I think as boxing fans, we should push for it. Maybe Turkey will hear our call or whatever. I don't know. And they'll try and make this fight with Canelo Alvarez. Because at the end of the day, right, why is he happy to fight Dimitri Bivol? He's got no issues with that. He wants that rematch. But yeah, he won't mention Arta Baturbiev's name. That doesn't sit right with me. They're both 175-pound champions. The guy you want to fight is going in there to fight the beast. Yet you won't fight the beast yourself but you want to fight the guy that's brave enough to go in there and do it, who's really beating you. It don't make no sense. If you're open to fighting one, you should be open to fighting the other. But let's be real here. Everyone knows the deal, what will happen in that fight. And Canelo Alvarez will get brutally knocked out. And that's the last thing he wants for his career. Because having a highlight real clip where you're the victim of a savage knockout isn't great for your legacy. Let's put it that way. So as much as I'd like to see this fight one day, I'm pretty certain it's one that's never, ever going to materialize. And we all know why. Laters.